2012-0275, Parish President, Ms. St. Pierre. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I'd like to uh, extend my condolences to the uh, families of Mr. Brandon Nielsen and Mr. Jeremy Trish, who were killed over the weekend, and also to uh, the two deputies who were wounded, Michael Scott and Jason Trish. Our prayers uh, are with them and uh, hope them a speedy recovery. Uh, last week, I attended a regional outreach tour with the Louisiana Economic Development Secretary, Steve Moran, and other regional parish presidents, economic developments, developers and business executives from around the state. The Southeast region visit uh, covers issues including the regional and state economics, Louisiana economic development initiatives, and work that we must do to uh, position Louisiana as the next great state for economic opportunities. Uh, this slide is kind of hard to see, but I was very encouraged by it. This is a uh, chart that the uh, LED puts out every year uh, to show available sites that's available in different parishes. And when people are looking to lo locate in, in our parish or in our region, they go to the website and they can pull up this particular chart. And if you look at it, St. Charles Parish in the, in the metropolitan area is second in sites available. If you see certified sites with St. Stanley has five, a certified site is a site that has all the, environment in, all the environmental impact studies completed. They have the proper zoning and the land is cleared and ready for uh, for uh, uh, to, to build a project on. We have 80 85 available sites as land sites, available sites are land sites, available, build, uh, available buildings or buildings that are vacant and ready to move in. So we have a total of 168 uh, sites that are, re are readily available for people that want to move in. Uh, but one of the things I was very disappointed to learn is that of the, 80, of the total of 80, 168 sites, they're all small sites. If you look down and see St. James has 22 available sites, Shell Oil Company is now looking to build a $10 billion biofuel plant in that parish, and that, that required over 2,000 acres of land, so we don't have uh, 2,000 acres uh, of land available in our parish. But, uh, but, but from uh, Corey uh, Forshade, our economic development, he stays on top of this and keeps his chart current. Uh, work is underway on the KC Canal in months to improve drainage in the area. The section between uh, Evangelion Road and the KC Railroad Track Trussell carries a significant amount of water during heavy rain events. The canal is currently being widened and relocated. Infrastructure problems such as the railroad track and other existing pipelines were only a few of the obstacles facing uh, this project. There is also an, an energy substation at the site. Crews are working around, including having to build a permanent access and maintenance roads to that area. So this project once completed, should help out the much area significantly. Uh, as you know, last year we completed our comprehensive land use management <laughs> program, and uh, we went through a series of public hearings. So the Rec Parks and Recreation Department is seeking additional input on the draft of the master plan document, which provides recommendation for action and policies that will guide recreation opportunities in the parish over the next 20 years. The public is invited to participate in public input meetings from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. Uh, August the 28th at the Regional East Regional Library, 106 West Campus Drive in Destrehan, or at 6 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. August the 29th at the West Regional Library, 105 Lakewood Drive in Ruling. I think when we, uh, Kim, and correct me if I'm wrong, when we adopted our master plan, uh, land, land use plan, we only had less than 1% participation, so I'll certainly encourage everyone to come out and give us the input and let us know what you want as far as recreation in St. Charles Parish. Uh, you heard uh, Gary, uh, Senator Smith and the Representative uh, Miller give you a report tonight. Well, I'm happy to say that with the help of Gary and uh, Greg during the past le legislative session, the parish was able to secure a funding commitment of $5.8 million through the Louisiana DOTD statewide flood control program for the Willowdale pump station. Combined with last year's funding commitment of 6.8 million through the same program for the Willow Ridge levy and the parish matching funds, the parish now has enough funding to complete phase two of the West Bank hurricane protection levy. And thanks to Holly and her staff, that's a big, big accomplishment. Uh, the parish also was awarded a $289,000 FEMA hazard mitigation grant to replace culverts at the intersection of Mimosa Avenue and Primrose Drive in Yellington Canal in Luling. This ex uh, existing culvert will be replaced with an aluminum box culvert, increasing drainage cap capacity 
improving neighborhood drainage during heavy rain events. The parish has received a grant last year to replace adjacent culverts in the canal at Monsanto Street, River Oak Drive, Oak Lane, Diane Lane, and Lagatuga Boulevard. I'd like to thank Dow, uh, St. Charles Operation, who uh, recently awarded the parish $10,000 to cover the cost of materials to complete subsurface drainage work at the West Bank Park in anticipation of the construction of a new larger restroom facility, which is much needed. And I'd also like to thank Councilman Terrell Wilson, who is a Dow employee who sponsored that grant. Terrell, thanks a lot. Uh, to improve road safety, we plan on uh, purchasing four portable digital messages boards and batteries with chargers, two cameras and a tower assembly, and traffic uh, data collection with a grant from, of $90,250 from DOTD. Uh, an, an energy uh, efficient upgrade to the Hornville Courthouse heating and air and cooling system uh, receive an additional 165000 through the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Grant funding on the, uh, on the uh, now completed project total $518,000. Uh, notified by the, uh, have been notification has been received from the National Park Services and Office of State Parks of a award of $200,000 grant which will be matched with 200,000 parish money to complete phase two improvements of the Rat Park, uh, Rathbone Park in Lewis. I'll leave the work on that one. Efforts to design and eventually construct a 250 foot communication tower for the US EOC building are now underway thanks to a grant of 960,000 from FEMA and the Lower Mississippi River Port Wise Strategic Security Council. Uh, we were made aware of that a grant uh, Friday, I think. Uh -huh. Ali went up there and kind of twisted their arm a little bit, good work. Uh, these grants these grants will bring a total grant award for this year alone of $8.8 .8 million. Last week we met with uh, Senator Vitter, uh, and as you know, Congress has passed a transportation bill. What does that mean to St. Charles Parish in the state of Louisiana? Well, we are no longer considered as a donor state. Before, for every dollar that we gave Washington, we was only getting 92 cents back. Under this new transportation bill, for every dollar that we give Washington, we give we get a dollar, dollar two cents back. That doesn't look like a lot of money, but that's a big swing, and we need a lot of additional money to St. Charles Parish. Uh, it also they passed the Restore Act, which will allow 80% uh, of all the monies that the uh, state uh, gets from BP settlement to go to our coastal parishes, and it also is going to extend the uh, flood insurance uh, for five years. As you know, or you may not know. Every year, Congress had to vote on whether they're going to provide flood insurance or not. So this year, they passed it. Flood insurance will be available for the next five years. Senator uh, Vitter was also uh, letting us know that, uh, you know, we've all heard that the only way we're going to get our levies funded is through a word of bill. And this year, he's on a committee, and he feels very certain that there's a huge possibility that before the next election that there will be a word of bill passed, and that would allow us to possibly get our money for our levy that we so so much do, uh, need. Uh, on, a go on a good note, uh, Coyote Production, which is a uh, production studio, that what they do, they don't make films, but they provide the studio for people and producers who make films. They will be locating in St. Charles Parish and East Bank and St. Rose in the old Carl Colvin building, Colvin Cabinets. Uh, they're going to build a 21,000 square foot production for studio. It'll be the largest in the state. They plan on investing around two million dollars uh, before the end of this year, and if they can, they can secure the movies that they're thinking of. They're going to probably invest another twelve million dollars next year. I think most of you met with these guys. I think it's a good fit for St. Charles Parish, and I think it's a, a new industry in our parish that's going to go a long way. That concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. St. Pierre.